Okay, this is Black Swan Green, a Hero's Journey Analysis by William Gorman. So in this presentation, I'll be going through the 12 steps of the hero's journey and identifying what part of the novel could be compared to each. The first stage of the hero's journey in Black Swan Green occurs in the opening chapter. We are introduced to the hero, Jason Taylor, and gain insight into what an average day in his life looks like. We learn that he is a middle-class high school student who is trying to avoid sliding to the bottom of the social ladder by hiding his stammer. It is evident that his goal is to fit in, even if he must pretend to be someone he is not. A clear example of this is when he posts his poetry under a pseudonym because he thinks poetry is uncool and gay, and he does not want his classmates to know he writes it. Jason's main call to adventure takes place in Chapter 6, when he is invited to try out to join the Spooks. This is important for him because the Spooks are a gang of the most popular kids in his grade, and if you are in the gang, it means you are a cool kid, which Jason desperately wants to be. In this chapter, Jason tries out for the Spooks and passes their challenge, meaning he is initiated into the Spooks. However, once he attains admission to the group, he comes to the realization that the kids in the group are cruel and immoral, and he does not want to be part of it. Immediately after Jason completes his initiation and is accepted into the Spooks, he hears glass break and realizes that his best friend, Moran, who was also invited to join the Spooks, has an accident when attempting to complete the same challenge as Jason. Moran falls through the roof of Mr. Blake's greenhouse and is badly injured. Jason must choose to either abandon Moran and go with the spooks or help his best friend. This is where Jason makes the choice to refuse the call to adventure and help Moran. Jason meets his first mentor in Chapter 7. This mentor is Madame Kromelnik, and she helps Jason with many things. Firstly, she helps him improve his writing, but even more importantly, she encourages Jason to accept himself for who he truly is. Madame Kromelnik states that, and I quote, If you are not truthful to the world about who and what you are, your art will stink of falsenesses. Meaning that if he tries to hide his true self to, from the world, he will never be able to properly express himself in his poetry, and it will be sub subpar. Madame Kromelnik mentors Jason for approximately three weeks, but then leaves the country because her husband is found guilty of embezzlement. This stage of the hero's journey begins when he goes on a vacation with his father and then shortly after with his mother. While on vacation with his mother, Jason is seen at the movies with her by the bully from his school, Ross Wilcox. When they return to school, Ross ridicules Jason for going to the movies with his mom and having a stammer. From that time on, Jason is bullied at school by Ross and his friends. Ross Wilcox starts calling Jason Maggot and, and teases him about his stammer. It is very clear who Jason's allies and ogres are. Ross Wilcox, Wayne Nashend, Gary Drake, and Neil Bros are at the center of the bullying and most of the school follows in their footsteps and are bystanders. Jason's allies are few but include his parents, his sister, and his friend, Dean Moran. Jason is faced with many challenges which are mainly internal as he tries to cope with the bullying. One key challenge occurs in, grade, in chapter 11 when he is at the goose fair. At the fair, he finds Ross Wilcox's wallet, which contains 600 pounds, which is an enormous amount of money at the time. Jason is faced with the challenge of deciding whether to return the wallet to Ross Wilcox and therefore save him from a beating at the hands of his dad, or keep the wallet and replace his grandfather's Omega watch, which Jason broke. In the end, he decides to return the wallet to Wilcox, saving him from a beating. This shows the strength of Jason's character and his strong sense of right and wrong. He did the right thing even when it would have been easy to justify keeping the money of the boy who had been bullying him. Jason finally slays the dragon and defeats his bullies by speaking up about it. One day in class, he intentionally breaks a very expensive calculator belonging to Neil Bros, who is one of the bullies. This gets him in trouble, but also gives him the chance to tell the principal that Neil Bros has been forcing Jason, Floyd Chasley, Nicholas Breyer, and Clive Pike to pay one pound per week for popularity lessons. As a result, Aunt Little and Wayne Nashend are suspended because they were in helping enforce the payments, and Neil Bros is expelled. Ross Wilcox is also not at school due to a leg injury, so all the main bullies are no longer at school and Jason has almost slain the dragon. It is evident that Jason has fully come to bullying when Floyd Chasley's brother stands up for Jason and says he wants to beat up Bros, Little, and Nashend. This shows that Jason has inspired others to speak up and talk about their problems. Jason learned many things during this journey, and it changed his views on what is important in life. One of the main things this journey taught him is to be yourself and not to pretend to be something you're not. At the end of the book, Jason's sister says, Any idea why, and I quote, Any idea why Elliot Boulevard stopped writing poems for the Parish Magazine? 
implying that Jason hasn't, hasn't written one in a while. This suggests that he is now able to be himself and he doesn't have to hide behind a pseudonym. Another thing Jason learns is how to control his hangman, or stutter. He says, and I quote, If I can reach this state of not caring, hangman will remove his finger from my lips. This is an enormous confidence boost for him because it allows him to speak freely without the fear of being made fun of. At the conclusion of the novel, Jason is much more comfortable in his, in his skin because he is better able to control his hangman and he also no longer feels that he must pretend to be something that he's not. Jason has gained many things from this journey. He now knows that in order to stop something bad from happening, all he must do is ask for help or speak up. However, he still has some hardships to endure because his parents have recently divorced and he must move to a new city with his mother. At the end of the novel, we feel that he is better equipped to deal with future challenges given what he has just overcome. Following his journey, Jason can now look forward to his future in his new house in Cheltenham with his mom and his sister. He will be able to use his new confidence to forge the future he wants and create a better life for himself in this new town. Thanks for listening.